Okay, well, we should be able to log on to our router now. So let's give it a shot. Now, the IP address of your router may differ from this one. It's usually something along the lines of 192.168.1.1 or 0.1 or 2.1, depending on which type of router you have. Once you're on the same network and you have this entered into your web browser, it's a simple matter of typing in your username and password. The actual username and password that you use for your particular router depends on the router but it's usually some sort of a combination between blank and admin. In this particular case, the username is blank and the password is admin. And like magic, we're in our router. Now that may have seemed like a lot of work, but that's only because I went through every scenario of what could possibly go wrong. Once you get into the habit of using the web interface on your router, and you understand what the settings that I'm about to show you mean, logging onto your router, configuring and reconfiguring it will be no more difficult than checking your email or surfing the internet.